So now we're going to do some sauteed shrimp for here at the TRA show. I'm going to do a different kind of version. I'm just going to play with it. We've got different kinds of ingredients here. We got some compressed uh, grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil I like using because it has no flavor and it can take a really high temperature. Uh, I got some butter. Go we'll finish it off with some butter. We got some jalapenos here, some mangoes, some red onions, sliced red onions, some cucumber, some lime juice, and some garlic. So I'm gonna play with this. Not saying we're gonna use all the greens right now, but we're gonna play with, with different kinds of ingredients just to just have some fun. All right. So, yeah. got my pan here, high heat, add a little bit of olive oil, not too much, not too much olive oil. Get it nice and hot, so it's almost smoking, okay? So right now we're gonna we're gonna use we're gonna do some shrimp, but we're gonna keep the heads on and the the, the shell on. What this does, it gives actually more flavor to the, the meat of the shrimp. So we're gonna get that full bold flavor. So I'm gonna start out with some red onions. Not too many. Get that red onions going a little bit. See how hot they're coming. You want this heat to keep up, keep the heat on high. I'm putting the jalapenos in right now. The reason why I'm putting the jalapenos in right now. When you cook it like this, you're just gonna get a little more spicier, so you're gonna need less jalapenos. So some jalapenos, we're gonna pop those in there. Some jalapenos. We're gonna whisk it around. You know, I wanna make a little sweet, spicy version right now. We're probably gonna add a little bit of white wine into this. So at this point right now, we see how it's starting to caramelize. We're gonna add the shrimp into it. We're gonna add like four pieces of shrimp. Four, four pieces, here we go. Boom, boom. Flip it around, see how the pan get color. We wanna get that nice caramelization of the onions. A little bit burnt, but not too dark brown. Like you're almost blackened, but not complete. Yeah, they're cooking up. They're gonna look beautiful here. So now we're gonna add a little bit of sweetness. I'm gonna add a little bit of mango to this right now. A little bit of mango. You can kind of see this maybe as your hot cooked version of a ceviche. I just came up with that, isn't that interesting? <laughs> You don't want to add your garlic too early because if you add your garlic too early, it will burn. And when it burns, it's going to get really bitter. So we're going to hold back on the garlic for right now. You see how they're starting to change color. You know, you see how you can see when your shrimp is done. Well, I'll show you all later is when the meat starts loosening up from the shell. Okay, at this point, I'm going to add some butter. I'm using salted butter because I don't want to season my shrimp too much because you want a little salt for the salt water natural. So I use a little bit of salted butter. It gives it a little bit of an extra kick. Once the butter starts turning brown, that's when we're going to add our garlic. Butter's starting to get a little bit browner. In a minute, we're going to add our garlic. A little bit of garlic. I'll tell you what, a lot of garlic. I love garlic. Let's do a lot of garlic. What you're going to create with this when we do the white wine, you're also going to create kind of like a sauce. So what this is really good for, if you have some French bread later on, dip it in those juices that comes out of this, I am telling you, I wish we had some bread, because it would be amazing to just see the reaction when you taste it. All right, last but not least, now we're gonna add our white wine. That's kinda yummy. See how this is cooking up? Oh. Okay, don't do this on an empty stomach because right now I'm just so hungry. It's, my mouth is just watering. Okay, almost finished. We're going to add a dash of lime juice. 
It's a dash. Now look at that. I'm going to turn the heat off. And there's our cooked shrimp. Imagine dipping some bread in these juices right here. Just imagine how amazing that would be. I like I'm Mike Pineda. I've been with uh, Natural Shrimp for 20 years now. Uh, I've been around the company for such a long time. Uh, I grew up from day one learning shrimp, shrimp technology, and uh, I've been with the company. My original job was construction manager. Uh, we helped build the shrimp in La Coste and started from day one from the board one, and now we got the facility that we have now. My primary job is to keep it maintenance-wise, keeping the pumps, keeping the aerators, keeping the shrimp alive. I grew into the production of the manager position, and now I'm up into a general manager. I believe in this technology, and I've been with the company for 20 years, like I said, from day one, and this is where we've gotten so far. It's been a long struggle in the long run, but it's a well worth technology to come out and listen to us. Thank you so much, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Mike, Michael, tell us about deveining the shrimp. Here at Natural Shrimp, we don't have to devein our shrimp because we purge our shrimp. A day to day and a half before we harvest our animals, uh, we cut the feed so they can purge them from their intestinal gut. And so, it, looking at these shrimp over here in the tank, you, you, if you could see it well enough on video, you could tell there's, you don't see a vein in them. That's correct. Yes, yeah, correct. Their intestinal tract is empty on these shrimp right here. So it's before the before the show, we stop feeding them a day before the show. And this is day three, so their intestinal tract is completely empty now. And when when we harvest our shrimp for commercial purposes, they would be like this. Exactly. They'll be exactly like this. This proper shrimp that you have here. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, my Thank name you. is Belkis Lame and I'm the restaurant fanatic, also um, state equipment and um, supply consultant for restaurants in the area of San Antonio and I Texas. Um, here with the also natural shrimp and we're talking about with Chef uh, about the trends and what is happening in the market. Uh, generally your consumers are changing their habits and they will prefer to have a quality product like these outstanding shrimp they are basically fed in an organic way they're grown in an organic way and that's what your consumers are looking for um, you are, are people willing to pay higher prices for things like that absolutely um, you need to remember it's about no necessarily um, the quantity but it's the quality uh, consumers are willing to pay right now for quality products uh, in the market. They are very conscious about what they eat and what they put in their body. So the fact that this company is looking into uh, being mindful in what they are offering to the consumers and working with the chef and the chef driven restaurants in all over Texas and the United States is outstanding. Well, thank you very much for your comments.